Hello guys, Soft Tony here. Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video lesson, we're going to create this cool and creative glass transition. And I want to thank you for watching this uh, video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon so you can always be notified whenever I post a new clip. Okay, uh, let's see what we're going to create today. Alright, we're back here in After Effects and without any further ado, let's create our project. First, like always, hit Ctrl plus N or uh, this little icon here to create a new comp. And for composition name, I will do transition uh, with 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration 5 seconds long. Hit OK and now it's time to create our solid layer. Uh, right click in our transition comp and find here solid. For this solid name, I will do matte and then hit OK. Now it's time to make a few adjustments here in our transition composition. Hit S here on our matte layer and uncheck this um, constraint proportion. And for the X parameter, type here 0 and for the Y, uh, y parameter uh, 220. Set up our first uh, keyframe like so, go to around uh, 1 second and 20 frames or so and then type here 70. Okay, now when we hit 0 we have uh, this kind of uh, basic animation. Also hold uh, shift on your keyboard and then hit R for rotation and we will uh, do our first keyframe like so and for the first uh, keyframe type minus 180 and then go to around 2 seconds and 10 frames and type here 90. Ok, now choose all of our keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard, uh, unselect everything and then just select our rotation parameter. Then go here in graph editor and if you can find a curve like this, right click and then hit here edit speed graph and draw a line like this. Now when you hit 0 we have this really cool uh, animation like so. Ok, our next step is to import our media here in our transition composition. I will uh, close this for now and I already have my media here, drag and drop into our transition composition. And as you can see, now we have this uh, cool footage from Paxels.com and for the track mat choose here alpha mat. If you can find uh, track mats, just click here on expand or collapse icon here. Okay, now when we hit zero, we have uh, this really cool animation. Uh, now it's time to uh, choose this media O1 and mat solid, then right click, pre-compose and move, uh, make sure, sure to move all attributes into the new composition. I will just type here media O1 plus elements and then just hit OK. And now we have a new composition inside our transition composition. And next thing what we're gonna do is to click here and then Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate. Choose the bottom layer, hit S on your keyboard and for the scale parameter uh, hit 115, like so 115. And now we have something like this also. We will import our effects here, uh, go in effects and preset. If you can't find effects and preset, hit window and then find it here. And I will type Gaussian blur for the first effect. Uh, for blurriness, choose around 10%. Uh, also, we will add another two effects. Find here Triton, like so. And for the mid-tones choose a uh, color uh, according your need, but in this particular tutorial I will, I will choose this kind of blue one, hit OK. And our third effect will be light sweep, CC light sweep, drag and drop onto our timeline and readjust our light, light sweep like so. You can play around with the width, intensity and so on. Okay, 
Now it's time to duplicate this uh, bottom layer, bottom composition media O1 plus element. So once again, hit Control plus D, and uh, for the uh, for this third one, uh, type here 130. And now, as you can see, we have one more glass transition like so. And also, what we can do is to change our uh, cyan blue color to maybe a different one. Uh, choose your color and then hit OK. Of course, you can choose your own colors. It doesn't have to be a blue one, but in this particular tutorial, uh, this blue looking uh, good to me because our footage, because our uh, C media, like so. Also, you can readjust it later if you want here in our Triton effect, like so. And now when we hit zero, we have this uh, really cool uh, gla glass transition like so. Also, you can play around with uh, blur here, Gaussian blur. You can also import camera lens blur or so. Maybe for this media O1 plus elements here in the middle, we can turn off our uh, Gaussian blur. And now we have this really cool and creative animation. One thing uh, for the end, we can also uh, go right click and then find here solid. I will type here BG for background, move it around here and just type here ramp effect, drag and drop onto our background layer. And for the start of ramp do like here, end of the ramp like so. And also I will choose maybe two different uh, blue colors or so. You can also play around to add another effect here like so you can also import here grid ball action and so on all right guys uh that that was everything for today's tutorial i uh, hope you learned something new if you like this video please hit that like button also su subscribe if you haven't already take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials and until next time stay creative and bye bye